screwdriver for that to get the fuel cap off. Cold. It was a good day. We made a couple of passes. Uh, we got the snow dog track packed down two miles of the three out to the vehicle. And I have a little bit of fuel here myself and go back out and see if I can punch it out the rest of the way. Kevin's out there in his snowshoes kind of refining the trail a little bit more, so I don't think it would be any problem getting the dog out there our first day. Sure going to be a nice smooth way after that. So. The snow this year is working a lot better for this snow dog. We had a stuff last year, I called it sugar snow, that may be the wrong term, but it just, you just sink in it. And here, working pretty good. I'm happy. I think you better stop filming and steer. Day number two, coming to a close. Spent a lot of time with the snow dog packing down trails. And that's why here, even though this snow is probably about 20 inches deep out here, we packed it. And Couple times and I'm able to walk along just in my shoes without breaking through, so that makes it really nice. I like to ski, but it's nice to do a nice quiet walk without the swish, 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 and the noise of the cross country ski sometimes, too. So I was just gonna sit back with the fire, but one last walk in the evening, maybe. Hoping I'd hear a, a saw wet or a boreal owl, maybe. My birds are all full. Well, Kevin and I have been here for a week and we're gonna head home tomorrow. Yeah, short trip, but that's what we planned out. I'll come up here to do some Christmas bird counts and have a good time. And I'll be coming back in February, maybe spend a few weeks, so I don't mind taking off. Weather has been just unbelievable. I think we dropped down to zero Fahrenheit one time. But most days have been up in the, the teens Fahrenheit. So snow, you've seen the pictures. There's just uh, been a winter wonderland with the snow clinging to all the trees. And we've had a, this, this, this hoar frost on the tops of the trees everywhere. It's just always been a a pretty thing. I need to stand corrected. I just called this beautiful frost that we've had because of our warmer temperatures and high humidity. And I called it hoar frost, but I think everybody's been talking about this and studying up on it. And what you're seeing here, is my understanding now, is what would be called rime. And this would be the soft rime that comes when there's not much wind blowing and it really forms and gets long and it just it covered things and it just kept getting thicker every morning we got up sometimes it was thicker and we just had this beauty this year uh, the snow it's we got 20 inches of snow here but it's a consistency the snow dog went really well it had packed a trail down and a couple passes over and then after the first night we've got a cement sidewalk that we can go out and take a stroll on which we've done a lot of that Got some fresh can pancake cooked up here for my birds, but oh, I had a, a pizza last night and I saved them half a half a slice. And, oh my gosh! I told Kevin this morning, watch this. I mean, I had to stake it down with a ski pole so it didn't fly away with it, and it was a feeding frenzy on that pizza. For some reason they just they love a good pizza.
told you it was nice. I told you it was nice. No hat, no gloves. Wait for my little red breasted nut hatch to come in. I think three years now we've had this. Well, last year there were three nut hatches, but this year there's been one little red breasted nut hatch, and they're pretty scarce this year out in the woods. So this one must be my little local. <laughs> it's kind of fascinating. It just floats around. Next thing you know, you got this little bird sitting on your knee. You know. I'm used to the Canada Jays doing that, but it's really a, it's really been a nice treat having those little red breasted nuthatch. And I hope maybe before the day is out, I can, I can catch them out here for you because uh, it's special. Snow dog this year has really worked out well. I might not. Sell it after all once I get that new cavity erected. Right now we've been using it for hauling logs and rocks. It's never worked out very well for its intended purpose of helping knock down some of these trails to make it easier going for us. Well, even though we got that 20 inches of snow this year, the snow dog has performed very well. Pulling a plastic sled, it'll stay on top, pack it down, and end up with a really nice trail. We've been using it to run back out and out to the vehicle, 5K out to the west, and back in and then yesterday we were out doing some bird watch in other areas and got back in and I picked up a couple, you know, these are almost 40 pounds a piece. Kind of nice getting them in the easy way. And, well, I'll put them here in the outhouse. We kind of try to keep all our gas in here. No pun intended. Tanks in there. I realized that Martin had done the, the real full paw of the cabin living and I'd left the heated seat. Didn't take it back inside last time. So get it in before Kevin notices. Never did get enough super bright solder anyway. The solar panels, I Brushed them off a few more times, but they've still got some ice on them. I thought maybe they would have gotten cleared off by now, but it, it's even with that little bit of stuff on there, they, they've been charging the batteries fine. We've only had a, a few sunny days and the rest of them are cloudy, but still, I'm leaving with the batteries all topped off good, full power, so they won't freeze up before I get back. I mentioned we didn't have that many sunny days during the well maybe eight days that we stayed up there but oh when the sun did come out with that rime on all the trees as heavy as it was it was such a beautiful winter landscape and I'm sure that glad that my friend David caught me in the trail and snapped a few of these pictures and he got some other ones that we've just seen of that really nice rime buildup on the trees made for a special time in the north country